guys, welcome back. So today I filmed a video testing all new products. So I had gotten a bunch of PR packages recently that I hadn't opened. They were just kind of chilling on my floor for a while. Um, so I decided to take them all out of their packaging, or most of them, and put them all on my table and film a video on testing all these new products. Unfortunately, it is not a talk through just because I don't have a normal microphone. So it's just like the microphone in my camera and I know once like the wind starts blowing and like the fans on everything just starts getting so loud um, so right now I don't have my fan on so it isn't really making a difference um, so it is going to be a voiceover but I'm gonna tell you how I feel about all the products as I'm applying them to my face so if you'd like to see this video then just keep watching all right, so starting off with a clean face, I'm gonna take the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is new to me, I know it's not new. I didn't know how many pumps I needed. I squirted out two and I'm just putting it all over my face. I had no idea it was gonna give such a white cast to my skin. I did like overall how it worked on my skin, but I had no idea it was gonna leave me like paler than my face already was. But I did like it and I thought that it kept my makeup on nicely and I enjoyed it. Next, taking the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation in the shade 40. I did not like the applicator at all, um, but I thought the shade was decently okay to the shade color on my neck. So I did not like the applicator. If I'm going to use it again, I will not use the applicator. I will use like a beauty blender or like an actual brush. And I just patted it all over the skin with the applicator, kind of realizing that it might be a little bit off from my neck. And then it kept on sliding off of my hand also. So I would definitely not use this product with the applicator because I just did not think it was good. Um, I could get under my eyes just because I could like use just one finger. Other than that, um, I wasn't a huge fan of the applicator. Next, picking up these new Tarte concealers. I think these are the Rainforest of the Sea concealers. I'll leave them down below, I can't remember exactly. Um, I just decided to pick the yellow shade. This is the light medium base shade, and I'm just putting it everywhere underneath my eyes. This is supposed to be a 24 hour concealer. As I swiped it under my eyes, it swiped it on, or swiped it, it swiped it on really nicely under my eyes. I did have a problem blending it out with the Beauty Blender though. Um, I blended it out way too hard with my Beauty Blender, and then it like didn't have any type of coverage. So if you're going to use this product, make sure you do a very very light hand with your beauty blender or you're gonna basically just blend all of it away like I did and then I had to put on a second layer. Next, picking up the Pixi Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm taking this banana shade to set my under eye concealer with this Sigma F35 brush. I'm just putting it right underneath my eyes. You're gonna tell in a second that I absolutely hated that yellow shade. It gave just a horrible yellow cast, like an actual yellow, yellow cast. And I tried to brush it away and it just did not work. So I ended up just taking the Becca powder, the face powder, because that was the only one sitting next to me. And I set my concealer with um, that product as well as well, um, just because I didn't like that yellow shade. Then taking that warm brown shade in my Sigma F10 brush, I'm just going to be bronzing my face, and I really did like this color. I thought it was a really nice bronzer shade. I would not contour with it, but I thought it was a really, really nice bronzer shade. After I am gonna go in with a smaller brush, and I am going to contour my face using that middle brown shade. It is more cool toned. Um, this is the Sigma, I'm not sure which one it is, but I will have it linked below like always. And I'm just contouring out my cheekbones. For my eyebrows, I'm taking the new Maybelline powder. I actually really, really love this powder. I used a Tarte brush with it, but I really like the powder. It stayed on for actually a really long time for it for being a powder. And I think it just really glided onto the skin and it was like the perfect color for me. If you're wondering, I used the shade Soft Brown. Ugh, I just absolutely loved this. You need to check it out. For my eyes, I'm picking up the ColourPop Quad. I'm not sure which quad this is because it doesn't have a name on it, which I don't like, but I'm taking the light orangish shade first with a blending brush, and then taking the oranger shade with my Sigma E25 blending brush and concentrating it into the crease and the inner part of my eye to kind of give like a halo eye. Then I'm gonna go in with a small pencil brush and put that reddish shade, it's still orange though, in the very inner corner and the very outer corner of my eye and kind of start creating that 
that halo effect. So I want it to be very dark in the corners or as dark as it can get with that color. And then I'm also putting it on the bottom lash line of my outer part and the inner part to replicate the top part. And then I will take my brush and make sure it is all blended out like the top. Next, picking up the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the color Hotel Lobby. This stuff is so good. I'm just gonna put it on the very center part of my eyelid for that bright pop of color. So the problem that I had is that I waited for it to dry before I blended it out. That is not what you're supposed to do. Once it dries, it is basically not going anywhere. So make sure that when you use it, you put it on the center of your eyelid or wherever you're putting it and then blend it out then, or you will never be able to blend it. So I had to end up putting more on and then blending it afterwards. And then just adding in a little bit more of that that darker orange color to make sure it all blends. Next, trying this Rimmel Scandalous Mascara. I actually hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. The wand was so big and it just it didn't really do anything for my lashes. And then taking my Queen Bee Lashes my, from Coco Lashes. I've tried these a ton of times and I do love them. Next, taking this um, Jane blush in Berry Boutique. I actually really liked this. I'm using this with my Sigma E40 brush. It gave great pigmentation, but it wasn't like overly pigmented, and I absolutely loved the color, so I definitely recommend these blushes. I thought they were really, really great. Next, picking up the Stila highlighter in the color Kitten. I had not tried this, but I absolutely loved it. It kind of was like moussey, but not moussey, and it like made your cheek just look wet. So if you really like those intense highlights that like, oh, this one is for you. It literally makes you just look like you are wet and like glowing, but not like oily wet, like glowing wet. Oh, it is just so pretty. I absolutely loved it. After that, I'm going to be taking a new ColourPop liquid, not liquid lipstick, a ColourPop lip product. And the ColourPop product that I'm going to be taking is the color, what is this? The Lippy Pencil in Sure Thing topped with the Lippy Stick in Sure Thing. Those are two of the new shades, and I really, really like this. This was fairly neutral, and you can't go wrong with ColourPop lippies.